hello friends welcome back to nutrition and facts we are going to see one more nutrition food and we are going to learn about the more more nutrition food which is good for the health it's called millets now what is millets millets are highly varied group of a small seeded grasses widely uh, grown around the world as a cereal crops of grains for fodder and uh, human food for food or animal food because the uh, grains we use for the millets the grains we use for the millets and it's consumed by the human food rest the grass is for the fodders you can feed it for the your uh, animals and crops and everything most species generally referred to as uh, millets belong to the tribe pansies most species generally they are uh, referred to a tribal community which is called pansies Millets are important crops in semi-arid tropics of Asia and Africa, especially in India, Mali, Nigeria, and Niger, with 97% of production in developing countries. The crop is favored due to the, its productivity and a short growing season under the dry, high volume temperature conditions. The most uh, millets uh, crops grown in China. it has a very big uh, production in china but it's not internationally produced it's produced for their own peoples because there is highly consumption of millets uh, in their country because as it's uh, like a rice or a daily food they like or in a bread they can use it as a daily food the millets most of the farmers they survive on this one the hospitals over there especially the women who are just given a birth they are feeded uh, millets to for getting more high volumes of proteins and uh, other uh, deoxidants things of the uh, food in the body so we are going to see how the production is going on and from where it's coming and how it's growing entire thing just stay in this video and please subscribe to my channel and please share with your friends and family so they also can enjoy the nutrition what they going to have in their life for the daily food and uh, for healthy food so traveling 30000 kilometers across half of china we are tracing a story about the millets especially there is a civilization in china who started the farming of creating the millets from the trishan food was and from the green hills and valley of himong village in southwest china or to the broad layers plateau in northwest we follow the origin of the millet and witness its interdependence with the chinese nation and we should have exhibited the spiritual political and cultural and ecological imprint that millets laid to the entire world look at the millets how they grow in the flowers from the grains how the farmers used to eat there is bread there is pastas going on you can prepare anything from the millet millet flour so millet crops generally known as fox tail millet and priso millet sometimes also known as g in china millet is drought and poor soil tolerance the water demand of millet is only 1/3 of a corn and 1/2 of the wheat and 1/5 of the rice produced in the same weight of grain traced in almost all regions in china and other countries
So there are farmers who are anti precision here less than 300 meter. Millet is a main crop in a Vetra village in a China where the farmers they go early in the morning to the field. Each millet crops are crafted by hand. A flood of sweets falls through a soil. The crop specifically refers to millets. Professors and doctors who visit all the millets farm to learn about the millets because it's a learning of the ancients in their uh, brightest weed that is eyes of ordinary peoples by treasured by Diozamin. The brightless grass and millets have many similarities, especially the seedings of two spices are difficult to distinguish the genetic evidence shows a certain link between foxtail millet and the bristol grass so which it says there is two kinds of millets one is a foxtail millet which is going in a, for mostly uh, in a china and there is bristol grass bristol grass is entire world they are doing but in china there is both foxtail grass and uh, the foxtail and the bristol grass these two kinds of species of millets are found in china but in uh, only in all entire the world its other is bristol grass only millets for find a food. So the professors and the doctors they take samples from their place and from the other countries the samples are collected as well for the foxtail grass and the bristol grass as well which is brought in their institute and they are stored in their uh, temperature room from each region or from each places all the samples are stored because they need to find which is the healthiest foxtail millets and healthiest brittle grass millets they can produce it more so especially the farms are cropped according to those experimental millets which give the healthy benefits Millet gradually spread out from Yellow River in Basin. In thousands years of millet cultivation, farmers often face the predicament of poor or even no harvest under natural disasters. Look at the farms of millets. Get the grains, the fruits, the flowers, the millets which are giving the flowers, especially a female originated. Small millet seeds determine the yield, quality, and the ever changing colors and the shapes. So, there are a range of scientists deep in the mountains 
they go with their team to check the crops where they can find the female or other crops which are more healthier to collect their seeds. Millet is a common and tenacious existence most of the region of China where it's a main source of their production and uh, large areas of the millet's production and it's their ancient work doing millets and selling and feeding to the peoples. So there is local cultivar known as yellow millet by the local peoples. It's a waxy cultivar with yellow shell and white grains. It can produce 40 to 50 kgs of liquor per 100 kg of millet grains. The yellow millet has excellent disease resistance. Its spike and appearance are very good and there is no early sequences. So growing in millets and so facing a challenges because of the weather and the climate, the breeding are more difficult. It's consuming a breed, a new variety. Millet is a domesticated from the Bristol grass, which is artificial selection based on natural selection since the birth of the millet. The selection has never stopped. Millet varieties and the land crises have been developed in cultivation for thousands of years and distributed all over China showing various shapes and colors in yellow millets, long shen millet, golden millets, peach blossom millets, other famous millets. Land races with a high quality has been passed on to date. The continuous improvement of flavor and taste has been the constant pursuit of the breeders since ancient time. This is a female. For more than 10 years, there are scientists working on millets varieties and which is porridge, cooking, taste and quality and the first current breeding target. So the disease resistance and other things can be cured by these millets as well. So millet is a monstrous self-pointing plant where is stamen and pistil. In a millet flower, there are both stamens and pistils are there. Hybriding requires the removal of athers. If the flowers are removed, it's the female plants. So all the female plants are being taken for the samples. You need to wake up early morning at 4 or 6 a.m. in the morning to collect the samples because the first sunset of uh, sorry first sunrise the flowers are there for uh, just a second of minutes so they need to pluck it out before it uh, goes down so so these samples are brought up to the lab and it stored thousands of the samples are there which they are always kept in those temperature and checked this is total 27,000 of millet samples. They taken for the their experimental 
and it's from the China and from the other countries as well. So those are filled again in a plants, in a crop and they are checking the samples which are the healthiest millest they want to check it so they plant it by the names. So these are the names they plant it, the crops. So these are the cultivation of transport zone used and the cultivated millets as well with grain. So there is dual resistant lines, mono resistant lines and rose resistance lines. Look at the farming. After the seeding of the images, according to the quantity of the seedings, we can flexibly thinning by getting rid of non herbicide resistant lines and mononocal herbicide resistant lines as well. So these herbicide lines are the effectively and real. The residual periods in only about 40 days. Look at the farm of the millets. This is almost a 400 kilometers area and the plantation of millets are done. This is uh, had been a very business in millative cooperative. So this is not in China, this is in the Nile and it's almost 200 hectares of millet land. And its productions are then same as the China. The crops are grown slowly and it's fully advantageous. So pesticides and chemicals are spreaded and the crops are covered with all the insects and everything are free. We study for thousand to four hundred thousands of millet. So, the scientist and other other satisfied with the production of this, which made a millet production realize and mechanizations. It's time for millets in politicization. Look at the smoke, the coming, it's from the sunrise, the dust of the millets. As the millets, because of the millets, there are a lot of people who came out of poverty because the millets has given the main source of income for them because it's a high cost and production is low cost. So it's for the farmers, it's a positiveness for getting these millets grown in their places especially in uh, India as per the magazine the Hindu this millets has given an employment to uh, villagers especially the women who are working in the villages either working in a field they work for the millets which is easy to grow and very fast to grow and very fast the production has been done so the uh, income of this are very fast for the millets uh, doing the millets so as per the page of Hindu you can see now here the page of the Hindu the look at the millets are grown and the employment has been given to the most of the places which are small in villagers the farming is done by the hand the cleaning and gray, making the flour and everything is done by the hand and it's locally dried and there is a conversations of the growing crops and other where there is a one leader who always uh, aware of uh, how to grow and crops and the uh, medical uh, situations for the crops because the pesticides and the, all the farming technologies has been discussed over there. So these crops basically are given them a life. So most of the uh, Farming are very easy to do, some farming are very easy to do and some are stressful. It's not like rice, wheat or something. This millets is very easy to do fast and millets are consumed in a healthy way or non-healthy way as well. Non-healthy way I can say because millets are used for the making of liquors like beer, uh, beer and uh, the whiskey. So the millets are specially used for using the alcohol liquors and for the healthy products as well. So the production is very fast and it's very fast moving in the other countries. What a millets gives to your body? Little millets, it strengthens your bones, it regulates your blood sugar, aids in a weight loss, reduces your inflammation, 
boost your energy levels and it's very very rich in a fiber so these are the things the millets which works in your body how the crops are made from the field how the scientists are keeping the track record of the millets from entire world from their own country as well keeping the top level priorities for the millets and growing them by their samples to form a good cropping and a good quality products so that's it for today guys we learned a good product billets how it's produced and which are the largest things produced in our so for interesting this kind of stories stay tuned for my channel subscribe my channel share with your friends kids for knowing them about what is going on the cropping and the nutrition and many more things coming around please subscribe and share it with your friends and family that's it for today see you take care